I can say the impact of global warming to my people is real. Being the smallest, meaning being the first one to be drowned. Some small islands are disappear. It's not just the sea level rise that is going to impact the Pacific. It's a higher intensity and frequency of storms. It's contamination of safe water supplies. It's not being able to grow crops. It's not having strong communities for the future. Every time I hear the word climate change, three things come to my mind. Injustice, inequality, and discrimination. Why should we pay the small islands in the Pacific? The Pacific Islands contribute less um, to the gas emissions globally, and yet they are the ones who are being affected first. I feel for, for my people over there. It's not fair for people in the Pacific. I think it's a crime that, um, that those people should, should pay anything. It's unreasonable, it's heartbreaking that these people have to leave their homes, which is the forcible relocation of people to land bases that they have no genealogical connection with, no cultural connection with, um, basically stripping them of their land-based identities, which is very difficult not only on those people who have to move, but also on the people that have to accommodate them. We scared to get back and we want to stay here with my family. We're talking about people's lives here. We're talking about our livelihood. We're talking about our identity, our language, our culture. That is very important to us because that's the connection that we do have with our land. Many Pacific Island nations are responding to the issue of rising sea levels very actively and assertively. They are going well beyond the status quo and creating really good solution-focused climate action. A developed country is not a place where the poor have cars, but it's a place where the rich ride public transportation. That's the kind of world I want to see. I think we could do more to stop climate change. Aotearoa people have always had a concern about other people's dilemma. We need to stand together as a region. We are all Pacific people and we all owe it to our brothers and sisters to take action. To secure and to protect the small islands and especially our world. We need to start putting in place policies that will actually legislate the um, reduction of carbon emissions and we need to have a strategy about where those reductions are going to come from. So not just targets, but we need strategy. It is about time for us people to stand up and speak for our rights. I feel happy that people are trying to help. What is lacking is the political and corporate willpower. So what it takes is you and me and all of our friends to stand together and say, hey, we care about this so we can hold our decision makers to account for the issues that are important to us. And climate change is a really important issue. We need to act on climate change before this is a common story for every single person on the earth. It's never too late to make a change. It's never too late to make change. It's never too late to make change. It's never too late to make a change.